All right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Love it if you could like and subscribe um, so we can bring more content. We in this shop, you never know what we're getting into, you know. So tonight we we hooked up a a one fourteen plow to the little twenty three oh five deer, and uh, we, we plowed ground. Uh, plowed my garden and. Uh, Probably this weekend, if we don't get rained out, I'll plow um, my dad's garden. Now, to answer the question. All right, guys, sorry about the noise, but we're plowing ground tonight with my little 2305 deer. Uh, this is about 24 horse. We're pulling on one bottom, 14 inch. Uh, it's working the crap out of this tractor, but it's getting it done. So, if I can get a little footage for you.
yes, this deer will pull it, but it struggles. I had to keep feathering the uh, um, hydraulic three-point arm. Uh, as you see in the video, it really bogs it down. There's a couple times it stops me dead. Got plenty of traction. It, it's pulling the motor down, and if I didn't let up, it'd have killed it. Um, so, yeah, it'll do it, but it don't like it. <laughs> Plain, pure, and simple, it don't like it. Um, you know, I had a, a Coyote CK25, and I pulled a two, I think it was a 214 with it. Um, and it did it and didn't like it. My new Holland TC35 would pull a 214 all day long and not think twice about it. Um, unless we got in some really hard clay and then I might have to lift it a little bit just to get it through. But it, it I used to do garden tilling and plowing for several years with that new Holland and made quite a bit of money doing it. So it'll do it. Um, with this one, I really would rather have had like maybe um, a 12 inch. Uh, it it would have handled a 12 inch a lot better than, uh, than this 14. I got my job done, but it struggled a lot. So hope that answers the question. Check out the video. Um, try to get a couple different angles so you can see it. I mean, when it, when it was moving through, it, it was rolling nice once I got the plow set, but it took me a little bit to get the plow. Some It's, it's not perfect. I'm not gonna lie, it ain't perfect. But because of the way somebody cobbled this together, they took a, two, a Dearborn two bottom plow, turned it into a one bottom plow. But what they did was, I don't know if I can show it or not on here. What they did was um, this, this arm right here, you can see it right here. That's actually should be over here on this side. Uh, and then there'll be another one up here that sits further forward. But they cobbled it together. And then what they did was they turned this. Um, well, I thought they turned it around, but I don't think they did actually. They did flip this over the uh, three point arm. They flipped that. This cam that's down under here should be on the other side. And my guess is they just didn't want to redraw the holes. Um, so they just did that. So it doesn't really set it up right. I've got it. It, it worked. Let's just leave it at that. Um, so, yeah. It'll do it. Don't like it. Uh, I, I will say these Carlisle VersaTurfs, as you can see in the video, I never ran out of traction. I ran out of power because I had too much traction. Four wheel drive. Um, I ran, I experimented with a diff lock open and diff lock locked. Didn't matter. I ran out of traction. I didn't run out of, uh, I'm sorry. I ran out of horsepower and torque, not traction. These Carlisle Versa Turfs, uh, I'm super impressed with them. Um, next spring, we'll do another tilling video with, with one of the, my big uh, five foot tiller or bigger five foot tiller, I guess. And this little 2305 handles that beautifully. Um, a four foot would probably be better as Tractor Time and Tim says, but as you can see in my prior tilling video and the one I'll do next spring, this 2305 handles that five footer, no problem. Doesn't break a sweat. I've done virgin grass with it and um, it broke up ground in the, in the spring and fall. Uh, and we'll do this tilled ground next spring as well. So, um, anyway, like again, thanks for watching and uh, hope you have an awesome day. All right, there's how it looked when I was trying to get the pile adjusted. Now you notice right down here where it's all nice and smooth. Uh, I've got garlic, I just planted that tonight. Uh, so, that's why that's smooth. It ain't perfect down through here, but um,